Hey guys, it's May May and welcome to a little different crafter after show. We're going to have our across the mile segment and I've got a lot of stuff to show you that's new in store and I thought this would be fun. It's a little different. We're going to roll with it for a little while and hopefully we'll be back to normal before we know it. So let's start with our across the mile stuff. I want to start with this package first. Look at this book. Isn't this pretty? So this comes to us from, and I'll, she's got a sticker with her address on it, so I'm holding her card back for a second, from Marlene Brazel and she says, look how cute this card is that she sent. Isn't that adorable? It says, hi, Meme, Vinny, and crew. Welcome to your new location. I just want to send a million big thank yous for all the blessings and joy y'all have given to me over the past several months. I have shared laughs, craft tutorials, and a few good tears, and you have even taken me to church with you with your prayers and devotions. Y'all come into my life at the right time, and yes, I know God planned it. <clears throat> Please never doubt your ministry because I am the perfect example of how much you, you all have given to me. I don't use social media to talk with others, so I will continue to write from time to time. I love y'all. Marlene Brazel. And she says, I enclosed a book for you. Now, here's what's cool. This is a Shutterfly book. You've probably heard of Shutterfly before. And she has taken scriptures and songs and things that have meant something to her over the years and made herself a book. And she said she has made this book several times and sent to people just to pick them up. Isn't this cool? It's like scripture. It's kind of like a scripture art book. Isn't that awesome? So thank you so much for this book. I love it. That is really cool. And I love that you make it and send it to other people too. That's really neat. Thank you so much, Marlene. I hope I said your name right, Marlene. Marlene, I hope I said it right. Now guys, this um, set of cards comes to us from, hold on one second. Let me lay them out and then I'll tell you who it's from. Here's this one. Okay. This one is from, here's her letter, from Adrian rushing. Now, Adrian says something to me and I'm like, eh, I'm not going <laughs> to, here's what she says. She says, I wanted to send these cards to you for you to tell me what I'm doing wrong. And girl, you're not doing anything wrong. You're doing everything right. You're making cards like you like them and they're beautiful. I love this color on this pink, by the way, that's gorgeous. And this is so cute. You let the paper do the work. As you, as you continue to make cards, you'll do better and better in what you like. But when you make a card, if you think it looks good, then you've done a very good job. Because for me, these cards are beautiful. And the fact that you sent them to me mean the world to me. We're going to use these in our ministry. I hope you're okay with that because I think they're perfect for it. And I would never tell you what you're doing wrong because you're not doing a thing wrong. You're doing everything right. Making cards is right. And, it's, and there's no right or wrong in making cards. And if you've been doing it for any length of time, you know that. So this card is for Mandy, which I'm not going to open because I have not talked to Mandy. Um, well, I talked to her, but I haven't seen Mandy in quite a while since this whole thing started. Her husband is high risk, so they have she's been off work for quite a while because of that. So um, I haven't seen her, but I'll get that to her. And then this says, talk about awesome. Thank you. Uh, oh, Lord, I cannot read this. Danke. Danke, merci, oh Lord. Y'all gonna laugh at my accent, so we'll just flip the page. And it says, May May. Thank you from the fan, uh, from, from the, wait. Thank you for the fan paper. I love making cards with the paper. Love, Katie. So um, this is Katie Lowe, and I sent her some paper, and she has enjoyed this, and this is the card that I got from her, and I love it. Thank you so much, Katie. You guys might have seen the video about Katie. That's so cool. Okay, I also have this card, which is really cool. Let me show you what she did. So I'm not going to read this to you. I've already read it. It's for me. But she made this card. On the front, it looks like this. And then here is her letter. But her letter continued, and she even did it like this and glued it all together. But this um, card is from, I hope I say your name right. I think it is Fion. I could be wrong, but I think it's Fion. And um, she made this beautiful card. Thank you so much for it and everything it says on the inside. I got lots of personal letters this week. I really love that. Lots of personal letters. <laughs> This card has also got a little note in it, but it says, sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes. This is from Sharon Taylor. It says, I'm hoping all of you are well. God bless. And it says to all the staff, stay positive, stay strong, stay home. <laughs> they are, honey child, they are. And then it also had this inside. And if you remember, this is the little books we had for a while. I don't think we have any more of these, but they have the piece you can stick inside and share with somebody. I just love these. And this piece says, I ask God to remind you that tough times never last but faithful people do. Faithful people like you. Isn't that awesome? Thank you so much. So there's that one. And this is hilarious, y'all. <laughs> Look at this one. Roll with it. Oh, can you see it? I don't have my glasses on at the monitor, so I'm hoping you can see what that looks like. And it says, Dear May May and all, I have been busy crafting while staying in. Hope you get a chuckle out of this card. I made it on my Cricut today. Be safe, y'all. Love and prayers. Colleen Kelsick. Isn't that funny? It's a toilet paper roll. It says, Roll with it. Too cute. I'm getting a little scarce on toilet paper, so it's getting a little scary for me, but we'll be all right. 
Hey, y'all, congrats. And this card says, a happy hello. Love Paul, Carrie, and Jen. But I got a note from them as well, and I'm going to put this here, okay? Look at those kitty cats. It says, congratulations on your new store. Can't wait to come shop this fall when we come down to visit Jen and her zoo babies. Now, they have been to visit us before, and if you remember, my bear painting came from Jen. Look at those guys. It says, um... And close is a picture of her new baby cougars. I'm hoping she will teach them to paint, and maybe I can get one get one for you and me to go with your bear one. Hope you get to make your clam cakes and chowder. Let me know what um oh what Rhode Island treat you would like this year. God bless, love Paul and Carol. Look at these babies. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. Jen works at the zoo and gets to play with some really cool animals, and I'm jealous of that because I think that's awesome. Now, this little card comes to me from Joan Hargrove. Now, Joan is a local. She lives really close. She lives um, up in the Verbena area, and she was actually at our open house, and she had projects she sold to help with her granddaughter's cancer foundation, and look what she did. So, she made little pieces to go in there, art glitter glue, my scissors, my ruler. There's our logo in there, and then on the side, she's got our heart videos. She's got our crafter show live and our crafter after show. How cute is that, right? And Joan says that she's been staying home because she's high risk, which she had heart surgery back um, early December. And so she's been staying home, but she's been finding new things to do to craft. And she enjoyed making this box card. This is adorable. Thank you so much, Miss Joan. And I appreciate your letter. Um, hopefully you can get here soon. She says in her letter she hopes to get by soon and it won't be long. Look at this one. It says, hello. Oh, I can't open it. My hands, oh, because it opens that way. Hello. <laughs> Dear Mamay, Vinny, and staff, I saw your crafter video about punch art and was inspired to get some cards in the mail to friends far and near. Thank you for your sweet spirit and uplifting attitude. May you and your families be blessed during these challenging times and the days ahead. Very sincerely, Betty Brett. Betty, your handwriting is gorgeous. So look, she did a little punch art ladybug, and it's adorable. I love it. And that's a stamp, but I think she did all this by hand. That's a stamp, but her grass and stuff is by hand. That's really cool. Thank you for that. So that's our Across the Mile segment, beautiful cards. But just, you guys are so talented, always so talented. Thank you for all the sweet sentiments, and your prayers mean the world to us. And now I want to show you some things that we have new in the store. Okay, let's start with product that has re-upped in the store, has come back in. Our Easter sets, you guys went crazy over these. Thank you so much. He's Alive is back. You can also get um, Risen, which was last year, maybe two years ago set. Might even be three years ago set, but I love that one. And then um, this one's called Banner Blessings. This is the one where all the blessings fit inside the cross. I just love that cross. So these are back in stock, and Taylor is doing a great job, y'all. So since all this has happened, you know that our employees are not with us anymore. Two are working from home. Three, five have had to be laid off. And Taylor and Josh are helping us so much. So Taylor's doing all the product inventory, bringing stuff in, putting it on the shelf, making sure we have it. And I'm so appreciative about that. She learned by herself because we didn't have time to even train her. So it's been amazing and I really appreciate it. And because of the way things have been going... I mentioned that we had some um, polymer clay in our store. We bought it for our retail store that we weren't going to put online. But now that we have no one coming in the store and it's just sitting there and I'm playing with the polymer clay, we went ahead and put it online. So if you're interested, I'll show you what all we've got and you can pick some up. Okay, so polymer clay. I love it. I have always been a closet polymer clay fan. I'm not very good at it, but I'm trying to get better at it. So you may see me do some little extra videos with polymer clay because that's what I do at night at home is I play with polymer clay. So here is the Primo colors. This one, I'll tell you the names of them. This one is called, um, oh, I'm not going to enjoy having to say these names, am I? Okay, this one's blush. This one's white. This one is pearl. It's beautiful. It's got a little pearl essence in it. Essence in it. You can see that. This one is yellow gold glitter. So there's glitter in them there, polymer clay. And this one is beautiful. It's called frost white glitter. See that beautiful glitter? So there's the Primo ones we have. Then let me do the next ones. How about souffle? The souffle are really soft, pretty um, clays. I really enjoy these. They're very easy to um, kind of work and get ready to use. They're super easy. This color, my favorite, this incredible kind of aqua color. Let me tell you the name of it. Sea glass. It's beautiful. This one is cherry pie. Look at that red. It's great. This one is called latte. How cute is latte? Love that one. This one is jade, a beautiful green. I love this. I've been making um, little miniature succulents. <laughs> this one's one of my favorites for that. And this one is cinnamon. 
so pretty. And then blue stone, another gorgeous one. This one's good for the little um, pots that I'm making for the little succulents. Do y'all want to see those? Do you want me to turn that into a video? They're super fun to do, and your kids would love this. They would love it. So fun. All right, lots of Sculpey. Let me bring all this Sculpey over. So many colors. I went crazy because I'm telling you, you never know what color you're going to need or want. And so I just bought like as many colors as I could get. And so this is what we have in store. Let me put them out here for you to see. By the way, our craft month code is still going. So you can still use your 20% off code on these. This guy, Granny Smith. This one, Buried Treasure. Kind of a, kind of a, I don't know, a yellow gold, maybe. Is that a good way to say it? This one, Silver. And it is silver, and it's got a little bit, you get it where you can see it, it's got a little bit of a shimmery, pearly to it. This one is called translucent. So this is one that you can mix with others to kind of lighten the color or even make them a little less solid. So there's that one. This one is black. This one is gorgeous. It's called chocolate. Look at this pretty brown color. Looks like you could eat that. Don't, though. It's not good for you. Okay, and then this one is blue. This one is called purple. Shocking. This one is called Leaf Green. Look how pretty that one is. I love it. This pink, oh, so pretty. Ballerina, such a pretty pink. If you're a pink fan, that's a good one. This one is called Sweet Potato. Look how cute that is. I love sweet potatoes. Do y'all love sweet potatoes? I love them. Hazelnut. It's a good name for that one, Hazelnut. This little guy is Jewelry Gold. I want to bring that one up and show you. This one's Jewelry Gold. And see how it looks more like actual gold, not the color gold. Matter of fact, let me bring this gold up next to it so you can see the two. Probably making y'all so dizzy in the camera. I apologize, but see the difference? So there's those two. And then this guy, which is called Suede Brown. So pretty. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so those are the Sculpey 3s that we have in stock. Now I'm going to bring over the Sculpey Primos. Um, Primo just kind of changed their packaging, and I wanted to show them to you separately. Like, this Primo and this Primo are the same thing. They're just new. This is new packaging, so this is older packaging. But I did them separate so you could kind of know what you're looking for. If you see a color you really wanted, you'd know what packaging you were looking for. Okay, so I think I have that one twice. Let me see if I do. Yep, I got that one twice. I may have this one twice. Yep, I do. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So this color is called gold. Now it is also a different color, the Sculpey Primo. See how, see how the difference in that one versus, is this one jewelry gold? Which one is it? Let me find it. I wanna show you the difference. Okay, here's the jewelry gold. So see the difference? This one's more of a mustard gold. So there's that one. And then there's this one that is called sunshine. And then this beautiful turquoise, another one of my favorite colors, turquoise. This one is called, oh no, it's, let me get it where I can see it. Uh, Alizarin Crimson. That's a, gosh, that red is gorgeous. Look at that. And then this one is Graphite Pearl. See the pearl in there? So good for jewelry. This one is called Twinkle. Look at that one. So pretty. And then um, Copper. There's copper. So that is the colors of clay we have. Let me show you the tools that I brought in. Again, I was selfish. I brought a bunch of tools in that I wanted. So these are etch and pair. And what these are for, they're little pointy tips in different sizes. And you can use them for all kinds of stuff. See how these little beads are placed here? That's using some of these guys. And also at the bottom of this, there's a little like concave section that you can use to make shapes. Do you see how that kind of sinks in? Yeah, here we go. Use pointed ends to add fine details to clay or to piece beads. Bake beads directly on the metal skewers, which is really cool because if you want to make holes in your beads, you can bake them right on these. And then the second part is use the concave ends to create delicate pearl patterns. So remember I told you had the concave ends on one side and then the points on the other. So that's what this is for. And then we have more tools. This one, I've been using this one at home. I really like this set. This is the clay tool starter kit. You get this little knife, you get a little pointy tool, and this guy's a sharp tool inside of there. And it says the needle end point to create lines, small holes, textures, fine details, and patterns. The flat end to create uniform circles. And the blunt point for small scale sculpting, punching holes, shaping, refining, and smoothing clay. Then the ball point end, because these are all double ended, by the way. The ball end to make indentations, 
concave forms and create curled or waved edges, the knife to create lines, patterns, and cut clay, and use the flat end for smoothing, blending, and adding patterns. So each end of this is a tool. So there's that one. And this one is called the Clay Tool Starter Kit, so you'll know. Then another set here. This one is the Dual End Detail Tool. I've been using this one. I like these, um, these beads here for making like shapes in the clay. And this one, like I said, they're, they're double-ended tools. And it tells you here, use the flexible tip shapers to shape and smooth clay, blend seams, create textures and patterns. Use the ball end stylus to make indentations, concave forms, and create curved or wavy edges. For best results, dip tip, tip ends in water before use and clean with soap and water. I really love these. I used these, this one in particular, on a bunny. I did a little bunny. That one was super fun. Okay, now then, the cutters. I got these little cookie cutters. These because you can make the cutest, simplest jewelry earrings with this. You can make bracelet charms so easy with these guys. These are shapes. See all those little shapes? And they are perfect for that. And then these guys, because I thought it might be fun to have some shapes. Who knows what you might want to do, especially that leaf. Wouldn't that make a cute bracelet? Um, all these leaves, actually, a fall bracelet would be pretty, or that one for spring. Too cute. So there's those. Matter of fact, let me tell you what these are called so you'll know. This one is the Mini Cutters Nature, and this one is the Mini Metal Cutters. So, one is Nature and one is just Cutters. Also, I have a huge, huge thing here. Okay, this little guy has these little handles that you snap onto the ends of these pieces. You get a shorter blade, a longer blade, and a wavy blade. Okay, this is called the Super Slicer. These guys with these handles can be bent like this. So if you want to cut a curve, you can hold it and cut the curve like that, which I have done. Um, it shows you how to assemble them, how to put the handles on. And then it says, use the long rigid blade for straight cuts or edges. Use the short flexible blade for curved cuts and edging. And use the wavy blade for decorative cuts. So that's what's in here. I love that set. I have that one. And then this guy, my rolling pin is my favorite. I love this clear roller. I use it for everything. Oh, love it. Okay. Then let me show you both of these products. So this is oven, oven bake clay adhesive. And the reason for this is if you want to put two pieces of clay together, you put a little of this between it before you bake it and that'll make it permanent. So if you're making jewelry or you're applying shapes, this is good for that. So I wanted to get some of that. Then this guy is a satin glaze. So if you want to put a glaze on your Sculpey or on your polymer clay, it's good for that. And I got a lot of jewelry fittings. Let me just bring them all over here and show you one at a time. So, I got, let's start with ear, I mean with jump rings, because I want to show you all my options. Okay, so these guys are bright silver jump rings. There's 15 grams. They're 8 millimeter. So, you can see those jump rings there. But I also picked up these black jump rings, which I think are really cool. There's little tiny ones, and then there's kind of more regular size ones there. I'll tell you what they are. It'll probably tell me on the back what size they are. Oh, it doesn't tell me. But these are tiny. These are like an eighth of an inch, these little guys. And then these are more like a quarter of an inch. And you get a bunch in here. So I love the black jump rings. Then I picked up earring backs as well. And let me show you. So we ended up getting the earring hooks. Let me see if I'm making sure I'm showing you everything here. Yep. The gold earring um, shepherd hooks. Are they called shepherd hooks? Fish hooks. The gold fish hooks. The silver fish hooks. And then I also got these flat backs because I love these flat back pieces whenever you're making jewelry, especially with polymer clay. So I got those. And then I got these tinier flat backs. Let me see if I can show you how tiny they are. So they're still flat back. There it is. It's still a flat back, but you have a smaller space that you glue down. So if you're making a smaller earring, there's that option as well. And then I got you some of these guys. These are eye pins. If you've never used these, this is a great way to thread a bead onto this. You can have a, whole, um, a hook at the bottom and create a hook at the top as well. So I got some eye pins. And then I didn't try these yet. I thought these looked really cool. This is like to make kind of a Pandora style bead. I thought these were really neat. So I grabbed some of these so we can try those out together. And then, still more. This is the Sculpey Tool Bead Making Kit. I just thought this was fun. It comes with, if you're into bead making, it has the little cutter for you. It has um, a rolling pin. It has a pokey tool. It has a blade inside of there. It has a little piece here to help you um, roll out or flatten down your bead. It has a little texture piece and all instructions on the back. So if you get this and some clay, you can make beads. 
Then I got the texture plates. These are really cool. They're kind of like embossing, um, like embossing folders. Let me show you. So in this package, you get two texture plates. One has roses and florals. Isn't that beautiful? So easy too to just put your clay on here or either mash this on your clay and they're flexible. And then this one gives you six different textures. Let me get my hands out of the way so you can see them. You get six different textures. You know I love that one, right? And how about this one that looks kind of like brick? And this one, they're so pretty. So those are the texture plates. You get two in a pack there. And we brought in a toolkit for jewelry. We thought they would be nice to have one of these. So if you needed to make if you needed to use the eye pins, this is a good way for that. If you needed a tool for doing your opening and closing your jump rings, this is um, a good set for that. So I love having the toolkit. Also, some E6000, which is something we're just going to start carrying in the store anyway. So we have two different kinds. I have jewelry and bead that comes with some fine tips if you want to get one of those for doing this kind of work. And then just regular E6000 because this stuff is the bomb. Um Everything still has price tags on it because we pulled it from the front store to put it online. So if anybody wanted it, even if you were local, because I know some of our local folks like it and that way they could order it and pick it up. This is a polymer clay set. If you're not sure and don't know which one to start with, you can do one of these. This one is matte colors. I'll tell you what colors are in there in just a second. This one has some shimmer, has some glitter, and I think even a translucent up here. Let's read. This one's called fluorescence. So the colors that are in this one are... Opal, gray granite, pink fluorescent, yellow fluorescent, twinkle, yellow gold glitter, white gold glitter, rose gold glitter, sunset pearl, graphite pearl, bright green pearl, and peacock pearl. So all these colors, look how gorgeous they are, are in there for you. And then this one has, see if it's the same place, white, beige, tan, jewelry gold, camouflage, red, sweet potato, buried treasure, elephant, Elephant gray, hazelnut, suede brown, and black. So you have all of those colors in there. And none of these, well, that one's got a little shimmer to it. This little gold has a little shimmer to it there. And maybe some pearl in that one. So if you just want to get a starter kit, you can do it that way. All right, the last tool for the Sculpey, which is my favorite thing ever, is this guy. <laughs> we got the pasta machines. Um, I love this thing. I took one home. I haven't played with mine yet, my new one. I used to have one, and I loved playing with polymer clay in this thing. So I'll be doing that um, at home at night to give me something to do. So I'm going to take that with me. Or I've got mine at home already. All right, that's the new Sculpey. Let's talk paper. Again, those were just because I had that in the store. It was sitting there, and I thought if you guys wanted it, we're going to do it. So let's look at the new paper packs. So one new paper pack that I'm in love with is this guy right here. And you see me use it on my recipe book. Um, no, you haven't seen me use it. I have a recipe book coming out Saturday. I forgot this goes up before. Saturday, I have a new recipe book that I'm doing. Um, I've been in the kitchen way too much and needed something for some quick, easy recipes. So I'm making a book for that. And this is the paper pack that I'm using. And it's absolutely the coolest. Rather than open this, every page, you get three sheets, you get four sheets of each design. So these are the 12 designs and you get four sheets of each. This is a really thick card, uh, card pack. Isn't that cool? I just, I couldn't say no to black and white. The minute I saw it, I'm like, we got to have that one. Then we got some new Echo Park paper in, guys. This is so pretty. Look at this summertime pack. I'm going to flip through this in just a second. But look, this is the summertime six by six. And then this is the 12 by 12. Let's start flipping. And I have one more paper pack. Oh, that was loud to show you. But let's see what we got in here. This is the fun part, paper flipping, right? I like paper flipping on this table. It's prettier than over on my mat. So this one's called Summertime. Oh, my word. Look how pretty that is. Can y'all not wait till summer? Oh, you know, this, though. This needs to be the cover of a mini album. Does it not? Isn't that perfect for a mini album cover? Look, sunshine and good feelings. The best time to enjoy summer is now. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. I've got sunshine in my pocket. That's so cute. Hello, summer. Remember to enjoy those summer days. Summer is always the best of what might be. Look at this. Sweet summertime. That's cute. Be cute to make a card that looks like that. Kind of mimic that. Stay cool. There's that pattern again. And then best summer ever. Oh, I love this one. Look at this with the kind of washed out deck boards or like, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Oh, I don't have anybody here to help me. Ship lab. It looks like ship lab. <laughs> Took me a minute on that one. Look how beautiful this is. Look at the little lemonade stand. So cute. And on the back, oh, this coral. What a pretty coral. And look at this orange. It's kind of the same. That kind of goes together. Isn't that gorgeous? 
I love that. And polka dots. Y'all know me in polka dots. Look at the bikinis. Okay, I would totally cut these out and make cards out of them. These are too cute. Put these on your scanny cut. Cut these out and get all those little bikinis or little one pieces. And look at the wavy blue. I was made for sunny days. That's that one. Summer is a state of mind. Live in the sunshine. Swim in the sea. Drink in the wild air. Lemonade stand. Life is better in a swimsuit. Y'all, this would be really cute for summertime because I guarantee our summer is going to be better than our spring has been. Ooh, look at this together. That The pineapple and the lemon and then this with the flip-flops. That's cute together. Look at that. It's got flamingos and sunglasses and watermelon and popsicles and fruity drinks. Too cute. Oh, look at this. This looks like um confetti or hundreds and thousands or what is the other thing? What do we call this here? Sprinkles. <laughs> I can, I can know hundreds and thousands from the UK, but I can't know sprinkles. Whatever. <laughs> Summer fun. It's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. I love that one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I've got sunshine in my hand. Summer dreams are made of this. Sweet summer. Life is a beach. Lazy days. Backyard barbecue. Summer. Make a splash. Fun in the sun. You are one in a melon and then a little TP. I guarantee you we'll be living in our backyards this summer. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness, the cherries though, and the strawberries, and the, oh my goodness, this is cute. This is a cute page. Look at the little, oh, I just love it. Oh, okay then. It's a watermelon page. How cute would that be to, be, to cut this up and make card bases out of? Put the little green rind, little white between it, put a sentiment, it's a watermelon. Okay, you'll see me do that. That's too cute. Pineapples, or as Thomas likes to say, penny apples. I don't know why, he just calls them penny apples. <laughs> Oh, look at these little waves. I love that. I always love the B side of the page. Look at these guys. Nothing's better than sweet summertime. Those summer days. Summertime is laying by the pool. Everything is fine when there is sunshine. Say hello to summer. Look at this. I agree with this. I love the sunshine. And lately, being outside is so nice. Oh, little stars. Are those starfish? They're almost like star flowers. Look at those. Those are kind of cool. Oh, look at the splotches. This is the splotchy page. And then scales. Looks like a mermaid tail. All right, my favorite part, stickers. Let's look. Oh, this is really cool. Where is what I want to see back here? Oh, it's not back here. I wanted that lemonade stand so bad. <laughs> but I got an ice cream truck, and I got a teepee, and a bikini, and a penny apple. <clears throat> and not a bikini. Why do I call those bikinis? It doesn't matter. I'm not wearing one either way. One piece and a one piece. <laughs> and then look at that little summer wreath. That's cute. This is, oh, it says summer. And then it has little, oh, I love this. This is super cute. Look at those flowers. Too cute. So that pack is called Summertime. We have it in 12 by 12 and 6 by 6. But the one you want to see, I can promise you this is the one you want to see. The summertime's great. But this dude, look at this. This one's called Summer Market. Can you imagine? That's the 6 by 6. Let's open this 12 by 12. Y'all. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Why does this one feel thicker? Let me see something. 12, 12 by 12, how many's in this one? They both have 12, 12 by 12s. This one feels thicker, it just does. This is so nice. Okay, summer market, let's flip. Holy cow, that's beautiful, isn't that pretty paper? I would totally wallpaper my house in one of my rooms like this. I think this is beautiful. I know. People think I've lost my mind. Oh, I see why it feels thicker. Because this is Cartabella, not Echo Park. This is the different texture paper. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. Look at these two together. That's gorgeous. Love it. Best summer ever. Summer blooms. Best day ever. Never pass up an opportunity to enjoy the beauty of summer. There's lemons. Fun in the sun. Ice cold refreshment sold here. That's cute. When life gives you lemons, make lemon meringue pie. Yes, sir. Hey, I saw a two ingredient lemon meringue pie. Oh my goodness. It was just um, sweetened condensed milk and lemon juice. That was it. Mix it together, put it in the fridge. Incredible. I'm going to try it. S happy summer days. Strawberries. And look at that. That's so cute. This one's my favorite on here. Y'all know it is the black and white. Oh my goodness. Those are mason jars. Oh my goodness. I'm going to tell y'all. This style glass is my husband's favorite glass to drink from. He wants a mason jar with a handle. Love that. That is so cool. This takes me back. Okay, if you watched my Q&A earlier, I told you why I have an aversion to stencils. This is exactly what my mama's kitchen looked like, but I love it. That is so cute. Oh, perfect for the back of this one. Look at these together. Perfect. 
Look at these. How cute it says open. I can't wait till we can say open to our store again. I love it. This reminds me of Wilhelmina, the little cart. So cute. Look, more shiplap. I don't know if that's shiplap. It reminds me of it. Everything good, everything magical happens between the months of June and August. That's really cool. Summertime, summer, sweet summer. Today is going to be the best day ever. Open, happy summer. And then I love how summer just wraps its arms around you like a warm blanket. These are so cute. Wow, look at that one. That looks like a field of beautiful produce, doesn't it? That's gorgeous. This is that same pattern I think brought down smaller, but I love it. So pretty. And look at that. See that little texture in there? Look at this. This is what I wanted to see. Oh, what does the bat look like? Let's just do this. I guarantee it works. Let's see. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. I love the lemons. That is so cute. That's perfect for when life gives you lemons. Look at these little stripes. I love this one. This is um, this is one of my favorite sheets here. Those berries though, I love that. This is, oh, look at the little campers. Oh my goodness. You could totally fussy cut those and use those on a card. <gasps> look, a page full of them. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Summer vacation in the camper. This is the one you need for your mini album for it. These are precious, these glass vases. Look at this little tiny print um, stripe. Look at this. This is the background from that strawberry page without the strawberries. I love that. And then, oh, look. Let's study this one for a minute. Look at those jam jars. See, I would totally cut this out and use it on cards. I would just cut this out and use it as little pieces on the cards. Look at that cake stand, the little mason jars, those little berries. There is nothing to cutting this stuff out. This is too cute. Okay, I may have a challenge. Look at these bicycles. So adorable. There's one page I'm really looking forward to seeing. I haven't got to it yet. This is beautiful too. This stripe though, yeah, I'm good with the stripe. Here it is. This is what I wanted to see because of peaches. So I live in Chilton County and in Chilton County, we're known for our peaches. And I was hoping I would see these peaches and I love them. Again, these pieces I'd cut out. I'd use these pieces like that. All right, did I get a peach? I did, there she is right there. Check out these stickers, Summer Blossoms. I love this. There's the little stand. We did get a stand. Th these little bowls, my mom totally had those bowls. The little mason jar, the swing though, oh my goodness. This is adorable. I love the set. Look at that. That would go perfect with Let's Scoot with our stamp set. Too cute. Very good job, Cartabella, as always. And that one, again, is called Summer Market. It's gorgeous. The other one, Summertime. Isn't that pretty? These are gorgeous. So that's our two new paper packs, plus all of the polymer clay we put into the store. That's really all we got new, plus those um, stamp sets that we've restocked. So there is all of our new stuff. All right, guys, that's it. That is our crafter after show today. I know it's a little bit different. And look, this shall pass. We'll be back to normal before you know it. But we're just taking every precaution we can take. We're trying to keep everybody safe, trying to keep our employees safe and our family safe. Thank you for your prayers for Vince's dad. I wanted to give you a little update. He is home. He has been home since Tuesday. And um, he is doing better every day, is a little better, a little better. But pneumonia is tough, and Mr. Eddie's 85, and so it's a little rough on him to... Uh to recover, but he's doing well, and we appreciate your continued prayers for him and for us. Thank y'all so much. Be in prayer for our staff as they're um, navigating the new normal. Y'all know how that goes, too, and uh, we love you guys very much. And as always in the Crafter After Show, I'm going to have prayer for us today. God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the sunshine today. Thank you for the rain that we're expecting as well. I just thank you for everything you bring us, all your blessings. For those that are watching today, God, I've been hearing from so many people who are dealing with anxiety and how rough things are going for them. And God, I just pray that right now you'll give them a peace in their heart to know that you are still on the throne and that things are going to come our way. We know this. We're going to be in the valley, but the mountaintop's going to be sweet and we're going to be there too. Thank you for the people that have taken time out of their lives to send a card to me just to encourage us and to lift us up. Thank you for all the emails and the messages we've been receiving. They're so encouraging. Just thank you for putting that in the hearts of our viewers. Today, God, if there's people who are being touched by this disease, I'll pray that you'll just heal them and that that'll go away quickly and they'll be back to normal and they'll be able to have gotten right past this and it won't even be an issue for them after that. And God, I pray for the scientists and the doctors that are working to find a cure. I pray every day to you that there'll be a cure every day. Bring it today. Let today be the day we can celebrate the cure. And God, for those around the world that are struggling, I pray that you'll be with them and 
and you'll help them to know who you are. And I pray, God, that through this, people will come to know you even more. I pray for all of my family and that you'll protect them. I pray for the viewers that are watching today that you'll protect them. And for those that may be going through situations that don't even have anything to do with what this situation we're going through right now, for marital situations and financial situations and things that are being sparked that they didn't even realize could happen, God, I just pray that you'll be real and be with those people and that you will love on them and hug them and let them know that you've got this. Show us something new and fresh today, God. Remind us who you are. Remind us of your fresh mercies and help us to cling to those things that we know are of you and from you. And we thank you for those things in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, I love you. I love you. And I hope that everything's going well in your world. I know that God's got this. And I know when this is all over with, we're going to have all kinds of blessings and stories to talk about. And we'll be able to be right back to normal before you know it. Have a great day, guys. Love you. Bye-bye. Thank you.